Coach, good start this afternoon. How would you assess what happened uh, the rest of the the rest of the game? Oh, well, we wanted to uh, make sure that we didn't come out the way we did the last game in the first period, and uh, right away uh, be in the second, like we were last game in the third, and uh, we did that. We had a terrific first period, and I think we uh, you know came up one nothing, but it should have been more than one nothing. Uh, the players did everything defensively to give them nothing, and uh, offensively we created tons, lots of jam, lots of uh, yeah, lots of hard work and desperate and. So the guys prepared hard, and they came out and uh, did the job in the first period. Second period, we gave uh, gave a few odd man rushes, but fumbled the pucks, uh, a few mistakes there, and uh, yeah, I mean that there's that third goal. Obviously, you'd like to get back for sure. Um, yeah, that's where it was, but the guys pushed at the end. Can you just take us through your decision to go with uh, eleven and seven today, and just the ice time that Balser saw with the back to back tomorrow? I'm sorry. Just the decision to go with eleven forwards and seven defensemen this afternoon. Well, it's all about our defense because we need we don't we know right now uh, we're we're low on top four Ds, and that means that we have to relay guys because you know they're not able to shift and shift out play against the top players, and uh, so yeah, so we need more there. Uh, two newcomers uh, to your lineup this afternoon. How would you assess the performance of Nilsson and Balsers? Uh, Balsers worked really hard. Um, he's a hard-working kid, so we saw that tonight. And, you know, goaltender, uh, a new team, knew everything, getting used to everything. And uh, he's, uh, you know, he finally got his first game with us, and uh, that's good. And we move on, yeah. Coach, you talked about in French, that you had a good first 20 minutes, a good first period, and then, by the way, it was maybe more electric on your part. What did you think about that? The third one was very good. The third one was very, very solid. The second one was a little bit more good. We gave you... On a donné des, euh, des surnoms à l'adversaire. Ils ont scoré des buts là-dessus. Euh, fait que ça nous a fait mal. Mais on était super en première, puis on était très bon en troisième. Fait que notre deuxième était moins bonne. Puis pour un premier match pour Balser, qu'est-ce que vous avez pensé de sa performance? Ouais, il a travaillé très fort. C'est un petit gars qui travaille fort. Euh, c'est un petit gars qui est premier sa rondelle. Fait que c'est ce qu'il a fait. Euh, ouais. Est-ce qu'on va à Hockberg demain dans, dans le filet pour oui. euh, le match? Oui. Oh, well, you, after games like that, you're going you're going to be frustrated. It's at midnight tonight. It's got to stop, and it's got to be tomorrow. And it's a uh, start back at zero tomorrow. Period. That's it. Well, ah, he's a, he's a he's a smart player. Like you could throw him out there, and you're probably not going to get an on man rush. You know, and and because he's on out there instead of uh, some other guys um, that have more trouble reading the game. Uh, you know, you're you're able to get more of a tight game, more of a um, uh, somebody who can play against the top players. But having said that, you know, let's not let's not put some pressure on Pager to come back here. And and you know, uh, it's been a while since he's played, and then you know the league has started a long time ago, and everybody's on a certain pace and. Uh, I'm sure he's going to have some adrenaline tomorrow, and he's going to have his smarts. But I'm going to have to manage his ice time slowly to, uh, you know, build them to uh, to what he normally is. I, I imagine you didn't want to play him in back-to-back -back games. On yes, that's why. Start, he would have been ready for today. But was there any thought to giving him an AHL conditioning stint? No, this, no, no. Just because he's made. No. Plus, he's been practicing for a long time here. Like it's not like he hasn't had ice time. He's had a lot and. Chomping at the bit, and you know he's just one of those smart guys that uh, if he feels he doesn't have the juice or his timing is off, he's going to be smart about it, and he's going to be able to manage his game. Yeah. I got to wait now. He, apparently, he was fine, but uh, there, there are good days. There are better days than they were a week ago. Um, so for sure, crossing our fingers, our number one goalie comes back. That's that's. Uh, I mean, that's a gigantic part of our team for sure.